So, continuing from where we left off, the ATC is very similar to the AVC. So all this stuff here is pretty much the same thing here. Uh, when the output over which ATC is falling, the MC is similarly below the average total cost. Similarly, when the output over which the average total cost is rising, the MC, the marginal cost, is above average total cost. And at the minimum ATC at this point here, the MC is equal to the ATC. And I know it looks like from this point, these points here are lower than uh, this point, but I just want you guys to know that this point is supposed to be the lowest point because this is where the marginal cost equals the average total cost. Uh, for me, as a person who is not very artistic, I can't draw to save my life. It might look like that these points here are lower than that point, but I want you to know that I just suck at drawing and that actually this point is the lowest point. So when the output over which ATC is falling, the marginal cost is below ATC. And you can see that here because this pink curve is below this blue curve. When ATC the, is rising over its outputs, then the MC, this pink curve, is above the blue curve. And that's that. Uh, why the ATC curve is U-shaped? Well, the ABC, the AVC, the average variable cost curve, is U-shaped because initially, marginal product exceeds the average product, which brings rising average product and falling average variable costs. But eventually what happens is that marginal product falls below average product, and this brings uh, falling average product and rising average variable cost. The average total cost curve is U-shaped for the same reasons. In addition, uh, the average total cost falls steeply at low output levels because the average fixed cost is falling steeply. So that's, there's your reason behind the why the ATC curve is U-shaped. But for me, I don't really focus on this because, I don't know, I just can't remember any writing. I just use the graphs to explain the behavior and you should do that too because knowing the graphs pretty much means an A for microeconomics or for a first year microeconomics course. I don't know about upper level microeconomics courses. But yeah, now on to cost curves and product curves. The shapes of the firm's cost curves are determined by the technology it used. Here's the rules on the relationships between average product, the marginal product, and marginal cost and average variable cost. So here's this. Uh, here's the relationships. Marginal cost is at a minimum at the same time when marginal product is at its maximum. When marginal product is rising, the marginal cost is falling. And you can see that here. We have our marginal product curve here and our marginal cost curve here. You can see that when our marginal product is rising here, our marginal cost curve is actually falling. Now, when the average variable cost is at its minimum at this point here, uh, at the same time, the average product is at its maximum at this point here. You can see that it goes up to a maximum point and you can see that it goes down to a minimum point. At uh, this time, it's actually drawn well because, I don't know, <laughs> something just happened to me here. So yeah, so know that also when average product is rising, uh, the average variable cost is falling. And that's what we see here. When average product is uh, rising from, from this point to that point, uh, you can know that the average variable cost from this point to that point is falling. So we have falling marginal pro product and rising marginal cost. Falling marginal product and rising marginal cost. Rising average product and falling average variable cost. And similarly, falling marginal product equals uh, rising marginal cost. Falling, uh, falling average product from the maximum point means uh, rising average variable cost. And I think that's all I want to talk about for today. In the next video, we'll talk about shifts in cost curves. And you've got to know that 
The position in a firm's cost curve depends on two factors, technology and the prices of factors of production. And that we will talk about in the next video. So please stay tuned. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys.